It's Matt, glad to have you here. Thank you. So you have been um, a slingshot enthusiast for a lot of years now, and um, you're one of our regulars. You come to every shoot. Uh, we travel to Italy together. You seriously got the bug. You got your own slingshot brand. Um, yeah. You are the quintessential enthusiast. So what got you into slingshots? Uh, I was searching the internet kind of at random, and I saw uh, some videos on DIY slingshots and like how to make your own slingshots, and I like making stuff. And I thought I hadn't shot slingshots in a while because the, the st I'd been into stuff as a kid where it was just like the wire frame, not yep. very good ones. And I'd seen these slingshots that I thought were like super cool looking. And I thought I could make those. And so I started making a couple. Yep. And then I joined an online forum and then a couple more online forums and made some. And I was hooked. That sounds just like my story. <laughs> right on. Um, well, then obviously you're stuck. You're in it. You're in it for life. I, I got a sense of what you love about it. It's uh, most of the lifestyle. But if there was just one nugget of slingshot shooting that was taken away from you, what would that be that would just make you put away slingshots forever? Like, what is the meat and potatoes of what you really love about slingshots? That's a tough question. Because for me, it's twofold things that I love the most. Yeah. I love the, uh, the individual pursuit, the isolation of it all. That when I'm ready to shoot, I'm shooting a target or whatever, that it's just me and that target. Yeah. And that's a real driving factor. But another thing is, you know, I drove several hours, you know, eight hours to get here. And that's that's one of the closer ones for me. I have to go quite a ways. Uh, the group dynamic, the other people in the sport, like-minded folks that like to show up and, you know, they're supportive and it's a good time. And it's those two things are like the real pillars of like my hobby. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, there's nothing like the Slingshot community. Good yeah, folks. great. All right, then finally, you're definitely a titan of the sport. You're a damn good shooter. And, Thank you. Um, what would be one tip that you'd pass along to any other slingshot shooter anywhere on their path of development? I think it would be uh, develop like a mantra, like something you tell yourself each time you shoot at a target that uh, helps correct any of the flaws that you have in your game or you're experiencing. And it could be real short, like sometimes I put like this shot, meaning this is all of this shot is the most important shot I'm going to take. Uh, or Lately, it's been like you're in control. This shot's going wherever you're putting it, so yep. you might as well put it on target. So, I, I mantra to me like that is very important. When I get up the line, it helps me clear my head and kind of take not take myself so seriously, like kind of zero yeah. in on what I'm doing. That really seems what it is. I mean, out of all the folks that are up there underneath the range, any number of those people could be first place. It really comes down to who can narrow their focus, and yep. I mean, that's what keeps me coming back. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a challenge, and, you know, you can always get better. So, yeah, that's perfect. Right on. Well, thank you, man. Absolutely. Perfect. Excellent. Good. Thank you, man. Perfect.